On today's episode, we answer the question, how many fishing guides does it take to catch a fish? Kevin learns some Sandy Cooper secrets to catfishing from world-class fishing guides, Captain Keith, Captain Nathan Boudreau Witherell, and Captain Barbara Mouse Witherell. That was a nice one too, wasn't it? Now one thing about where we're fishing right now, we're in Lake Marion between, say, the Talkaw and Goat Island area, close to the cut across. Um, we're fishing in solid stumps and timber. This is one of the areas that they didn't get to log too, too much uh, before they formed these lakes. and. Just like that fish we just lost, it was a big fish. He hit it, ran into an old root or stump or something. We lost him, we broke him off, but that's just part of it up here. But this lake is full of big fish like that, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna catch everyone that bites. It's just, I don't care what line and cap you use. Well, Boudreaux, you intentionally let the line free spool off of the reels after you cast them because you want to get them away from the boat a little bit. Away from the noise of the boat. Okay, okay. away from the noise Shatter of the boat. and the noise of the boat. Okay. You can, I don't think you can have them too far out, okay. but you can definitely have them too close. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Mr. Keith, what you got here, buddy? All Captain right. Keith, I should say. I think we got a dink. Fresh fish coming up. Fresh fish? Yep. He's a spinner. <laughs> Boudreaux, we've got 10,000 fish that size in these lakes, or 10 million, 10 I should million. say. They will make a mess. He's got no hooks. like that. Yeah. Guess what got it? Oh, the stinger hook. Boudreaux, tell, tell the people at home, you know, this, this TV show is all about teaching people how to fish. Tell people at home what you've done here. Well, mouth. over the years, we've always run a six off circle hook. Yeah. Well, with the induction of all these little fish, we started losing $12 a dozen nine dollar a dozen bait yep without no and not know that it was gone mm -hmm. we drifting along with nothing but a head on here yeah well by putting a, this little stinger hook yeah on to the center of the hook this fish comes up and he's biting biting mm -hmm. biting at the tail of the hook because he's too small a mouth to get up here yeah he gets this bone in his mouth it got him didn't it yeah. and i'm gonna ask a favor of you since the lake has got 10 billion of this size fish in it, because we've had such successful spawns for the last three or four years, I know we we all like to throw the big fish back. Would you mind if I kept five or six that size? Absolutely. That's my favorite catfish. To I eat. asked everybody to keep this size yes. fish and throw the big ones back because this one takes so much food to grow big. Uh -huh. Yes, he will grow big in the future. Yeah. But. 
this fish here takes more food to grow big than the big fish take to grow bigger. I got you. So let's let our big fish grow and spawn yeah. and produce more of these and just keep eating these. There you go. There you go. Two minute warning, fish. Two minutes and we're gonna move? Two minute warning. They they, they gotta hit it now or lose a free foot. Captain, lose we it. hadn't been here 20 minutes. We're gonna go somewhere else. We should okay. have had a fish. Hard working fishing god. If they ain't biting in one spot, got to go, right, Blue Got, to go. got, to, got go. to go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. How's he feel, Mouse? It's a twister. I don't think it's real big, but he's uh, about the same as the last one. Sure, he did it like a nice one. There he is. He ain't big, he's just mean, eh, Blue Drop? Got big Joe. <laughs> about the same size, huh? Good prize, right? Got one right under the boat. <coughs> Gotta do a hook action. Mm-hmm. Both. Both hooks. Three captains we can't yeah. hold catfish. Well, if you do it like mine, you wouldn't have to win There you go. Oh, yeah. A little fat cat. Yeah. He, I tell you, that's a, for my taste, that's a little big. Throw him back too, if you will, captain. Right. I like those little, little ones. feels good in here. Now, Miss Barbara, not only are you a fishing guide, a charter captain, correct? Um, since what, 1990, late 90s, 1998? Yep. Um, you also build these enclosures. Correct. And the drift socks. And the drift socks. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And what what is the name of your your product here? Mouth house. I love it. <laughs> Captain Mouse, she makes the drift socks and she makes the mouse house. You are a multi-talented individual, that's for sure. Yeah, can't do just one thing. 
and you've built these mouse houses for a lot of the other guys on the Central Right, I think there's, lake. like we said, we have the lake covered. I yeah. think we've made 27 so far. 27? Wow. I sure appreciate this one today because we're, uh, what, into October? Wind's got a little bite to it this morning. It's 43 it degrees this morning. Was it? 43? 43. Yeah. 43. It's nice in here, though. Yep. Being cold is not in the job description. <laughs> At all. I don't do cold. <laughs> We're fishing in cum. Now, if somebody wanted to get an enclosure made like this, how do they get in contact just, with just you? Just call me on my cell phone, 803-682-1111. Easy to remember. All right. Good deal. If you're a hunter or fisherman looking for the perfect place to meet all of your hunting and fishing needs, look no further than Angler's Sporting Goods in Monk's Corner. Angler's carries a variety of name brand apparel, plus boots, waders, and everything you need to outfit your entire hunting party, as well as a large selection of firearms and ammo. For the fishermen, whether saltwater or freshwater, you have a well-stocked supply of tackle, lures, rods, and more. No matter what you need to fish and hunt God's great outdoors, rest assured, Angler Sporting Goods has it. so precise with your drifting you even pay attention to the speed you're drifting Correct. on your GPS unit back yeah. here so and what's your preferred less than one half mile an hour less than one half mile right an hour. now we're running point four okay okay and just yesterday yesterday was pretty calm wasn't it uh no it was white capping oh it was coming out of the west and you were drifting how fast uh, yesterday hung up in the back point five and even though it was rough yesterday morning, you guys caught a, what, a 40? We caught a 40, a 38, a 33, a 32. Wow, right here where right we're fishing today. we're fishing right now, between right. here and the next island. You're disrupting my weather string, you know that. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. You're oh, disrupting sorry. my weather string. Yeah. See, this is a weather string. It, tells me wind direction. If it's white, it's snowing. <laughs> if you can't see it, it's foggy. Oh. If it's straight out, it's windy. Oh. Not only with the wind direction. Uh, if it's dripping wet, it's raining. <laughs> if it's stiff, it's below 32 degrees. It's never wrong. How'd it's better you than the weather channel. Well, the weather rock really turned me on to the weather train. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, you had the weather rock, but too many people were getting injured on the boat with that swinging rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it seems to be working well. Fish on. Fish on. Uh, nope. Yep. Yep. He's yep. There. Got a good Thank you for letting me hold your fish. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got enough to eat. I'm going to tell Jim too. Right. 
Talk about convenience now. What about 16? 1495. 1495. Let's throw that fish back. I just I just want a few little ones. We're gonna put him back in the drink. We're gonna resuscitate him. Yeah. All right. Next time we catch him, you might weigh 100 pounds, right? Right. Hello, I'm Kevin Davis, the Santee Cooper Sportsman, and I'm here to tell you today that I love Berkeley County, and I'll tell you why, because it's a fisherman and a hunter's paradise. Berkeley County is one of the best places to fulfill all your hunting and fishing dreams. The Santee Cooper Lakes are almost like South Carolina's own inland sea. Some of the best freshwater fishing can be yours. All you have to do is get here. Largemouth bass, three pound crappie, and best known for world record catfish. The lakes are also home to some of the finest fish camps and restaurants anywhere. You can find somewhere to fuel up and get bait. From the lakes, you can go through the locks and travel all the way to Charleston by boat on the Cooper River. As far as hunting, Berkeley County has one of the earliest deer seasons in the state. It's one of the few places in the country where you can harvest a buck still in velvet. Turkey hunting is great. There's so many gobblers here that they're just waiting in line for you. Not really, but almost. There are many plantations and preserves that can help you meet just about any hunting dream you have. Don't wait any longer. Berkeley County is waiting for you. Always save the best for the last, and that's just what we did today. We got ready to reel everything up, go home, and call it this. So I want to ask you guys and gals, who drove, in your opinion, what is the one most single factor that, in your opinion, is, is the most important thing about this drift fishing for catfish? You got to be presentation speed. Okay, speed. speed that you're pulling the bait through the water. Okay. You like? I like point anything under point five. Okay. I've caught fish up to one mile an hour, but they got to be really, really actively hungry, okay. starving to death. Half mile an hour. Like that fish, fish right fish there. On. Big fish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we were about to give it up and say, let's go in and look at that. Big, 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 big. 
Well, oh. that, could, that could be the best thing is don't ever give up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's right. Don't ever right. give up. Don't oh. big All right. There you go, Key. Good job. That cuts Sideways to the camera, Captain Key. There we go. Okay guys, today was so much fun. I tell you what, I got to fish with a lot of very knowledgeable Santee Cooper captains. We ended up catching a beauty of a catfish and uh, just had great fellowship, had a great time. Um, all these fellows are representatives of the Santee Cooper Guides Association. If you want to find a good guide to take you fishing, you can go to their website or you can go to Santee Cooper Country. Dot .org. We'll see you next time on the Santee Cooper Sports Review.